This is Scott Dibbon with D3 Technologies. Our tech tip today is going to be based around AutoCAD. I'll be using AutoCAD 2016, but our tip today should work on most previous versions you have out there. So what will we be talking about today? Um, everybody probably has their templates set up. We're going to go into our templates and see what other tools and items we should have configured inside our templates to get the most out of them. We're also going to talk about how we change the default location. So when we go to new or quick new, it's pointing to the right direction instead of us having to find that path each time. So let me go over to our AutoCAD. So inside of AutoCAD, the first thing we'll do is we'll open up a template just to look and see what is available for us to configure in there. So I'm going to go to open. I already have a file type selected as DWT. If you do not, all templates will be a DWT file. Uh, I have saved the ones we're going to do for this tech tip under my C drive, and I have a folder that's called templates. More than likely for most, this will be out on a server. So I have an electrical template and a mechanical template. template. Let me open up the mechanical one. So inside of our mechanical template here, uh, standard things that I would expect for you to set up to get the most use out of it will, if I go to the home, uh, set up all of our layers that we need. Um, if you need a center line layer, put it in there, dimension layers, object layers, anything that you need. We can also set line types, of course, uh, thickness of lines. We can also say whether to print or not print those. Uh, another item that we should have in our templates is any custom textiles. So if we need to set up a textile here, um, set it as a current, uh, and that'll be your current textile inside of your template. Dimension styles, the exact same way. Set a new one up, set current, and that'll be the one. This, this is going to provide a lot of consistency in your drawing. We also would expect that you would need to set up page setups. So when we go to print, um, do we need 11 by 17? Do we need 8.5 by 11? What printer, what um, pen assignments do we want to use? All this should be set up inside your template. Also, we have a coordinate system down here. If for some reason you want a different coordinate system, we can go to drawing units and we could simply say architectural if we want and architectural templates will be, or architectural units will be displayed. So after we get all of our templates set up, um, all we would do is save that out. Um, and now we're ready to map the location in AutoCAD. Okay, so I've just got a blank drawing open. To get to uh, the location that will map all of this, we go to our application menu. We will go to options. So underneath options, um, if we stay on our file tab, we should go down until we see a um, template settings location. From here, there are two things that we're going to change. We have your drawing template file location. Let me expand that. That's the default one that comes from AutoCAD right now. And we're going to also talk about the default template file name for QNew, which is QuickNew, which has none in it. So let's talk about the two different ones. If we use the from the Quick Access Toolbar, this tool, this is our QNew tool. If you go to the application menu New, or we type New in our command line, it's going to use the location for that or it's going to use our template file location. So we've got QNU location and template. The difference though that we can also do QNU can go to a specific file. Um, the template file location only goes to a folder. So let's set QNU up first. So from here I'm going to browse and QNU needs to be the one you're going to use most often. Um, if you're electrical or mechanical uh, you're going to choose the the one that you consistently use maybe even on a daily basis. So I'm going to go to where my new templates are and I'm going to pick the electrical template. Anytime I pick QNU, it should now give me my electrical template. I'm going to hit apply. We'll come back in and change the other one here in a minute. Now if I go to QNU, my electrical template. Okay, let's change the other one. Right now, if I was to go to new, it takes us to our standard template location that AutoCAD has, which has many, many templates. Let's change that now. Once again, application options, templates, and now we have the drawing template file location. Let's change the path on that. Once again, I've got mine under C drive. 
under templates. We only go to a photo location. Hit apply. OK. Now if we do, if we go to the application new, it should take us to our new template location. Hopefully this will help um, with you setting up and, or your templates and also being able to map the correct location for them in your OCAD. Thanks.